What? Yes. What is it talking about, brother? You know what the third temple is. Thus said the Lord, no stranger uncircumcised in the heart. What does that mean right there? Just tell me, what does that mean? No stranger uncircumcised in the heart can come to the third temple and offer a sacrifice. Okay. We're not in the third. We're at a nightclub. How is that? How are you so, trying so to you, apply that? No, nah, no, nah, stop it, man. Stop it, man. Cut it out, brother. Cut it out. You gotta get a better precept. This bullshit straight like that, bro. Brother, you getting emotional right now. This is what y'all Hebrews say to me all the time. <laughs> you know, I, you're very emotional, brother. Uh, hey, Saul, uh, can I ask a question real quick? Listen, yes, you can ask you a can, question. Can, hey, gorilla, 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 peace and love, man. This brother Garfield. Uh, this is what I'm, I'm trying to find out. Do, or, do you feel like you did anything wrong by being in the club? Biblical no, speaking. No, I go to the club all the time. All right. Second, second, secondly. Did you feel like if the brothers approaching the female in a very provocative way was appropriate, if they did that, because I didn't watch the video, if they did that, based on what I heard on Sonetta, would you think that was appropriate? Be, I, I don't think it's inappropriate because we had a recessual men, so I don't understand how it's inappropriate. All right, next thing. Did you make a video already responding to this already? I made a brief, I did on Friday, and I made a brief video on my Instagram today and I, I, I got an isolated version of the video I made on Friday coming out on my channel in about an hour and 15 minutes. Which channel is it coming out, my brother? The Takari main channel. So if you feel this way you made an announcement, why do you feel you need to do an interview with Daniela then? You don't need to do no interview. You say what you said. It's our record. Listen, because because I can do whatever I want to do, and that's what the problem is. Everybody's trying to dictate to me what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I want to do, and everybody just going to have to deal with it, whether they like it or not. Hey, hey, Sarnetta. You, this is the best show you ever had, my brother. Gorilla Hebrew, congratulations, my brother. Congratulations. There's a book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 10. And it reads, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. First and foremost, I just want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honor to my power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Yahawashai, Baharach Kodesh, meaning all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten and anointed Son, Yahawashai, all right, whom, whom is of our, our uh, spiritual rock, our spiritual foundation, Baharach Kodesh, all right, pursuing Deuteronomy 32 and 4 and other precepts, all right, and also, all right, Mashana, Kabawadium, Lahasaquanium, Shal Gadabarakab, meaning double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true shepherds of Yashala, and uh, Shalomam, honors and salutations to Bayasha Dawada, meaning the house of David, representing the elect of Israel. All right, scattered across the four corners, being these so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Speckleber Israelites, human with Israelite foreigners. All right, this is your fellow servant, Malak Rayab. All right, just back at it again with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemir Shai. All right. Through the spirit of prophecy, being a testimony of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach and Havashai, who shed his, uh, his precious blood for the nation of Israel, uh, 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 the, the remission of sins of the nation of Israel, okay? Um, you know, so just meditating on this, um, you know what I'm saying, on, on you know, the uh, one of these last few prophecies, these last days, you know, pursuing the second Timothy, the third chapter, another precept, man, where, you know, men would be high-minded, you know, lovers of themselves, you know what I'm saying? More so those of the circumcision that, um, you know, take this truth for granted, you know, that um, use this truth, you know, to uh, boast themselves in their hearts, you know what I'm saying? To, to uh, you know, to use the, 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 the true divine wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these of these holy scriptures to be brutish, you know? You know, for, for, for you know, to, to, to be glorified within the confinement of this wicked world, you know what I'm saying? And um, how do they do that? You know, they... You know, they, they try to they try to justify you know their 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 leaven you know you know their 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 iniquity the perpetual acts of iniquity all right their their uncleanliness in these last days by using the vibration of the scriptures man and these are devils according to the scriptures man all right because there's nothing new under the sun you know just like you had the the wicked of the scribes and pharisees back in the day you know what i'm saying uh, well over two thousand years ago or to or what uh, uh, current well over two thousand years ago uh, you know, when Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, our, our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai was on the scene, you had them on the scene then, 
the same spirit. You know what I'm saying? The wicked describes and the Pharisees as zealots in their back. You see? And they're, they're, like it says in Proverbs 21 and 7, man, their minds have been given over to Satan. And, you know, that's, that's, and, and, and their rhetoric is based off of the, uh, um, is, is influenced by what's in their thoughts. And their thoughts are controlled by Yahweh, by Shem Shai. So, you know, for this man to say, you know, that um, he does what he wants to do is contrary to the scriptures. That's being adverse to the scriptures, man. That's being, uh, that's being a, 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 a devil. Okay, being a deceiver, you know, being of the physical manifestation of Shaitan, because Shaitan in Hebrew means adversary. Okay, you know, and adverse to what? Adverse to righteousness, because this is spiritual warfare we're in. So opposition is required by Yahweh by Shem and Shai, man. You know, it keeps your mind more at ease. You know, to be that less that less vexed when you when you come across God. You know, what I'm saying cats like this. When you come across when you come across men like this, you know, what I'm saying who are double minded. You know who are who are uh, who who lack the balance, who you know what I'm saying who who are fraudulent. And ultimately, you know it. Um, you know, it leads it, it leads you back to the green. You know what I'm saying it leads you back to the sound doctrine. Okay, because these these things exist, and we have the unctions to know all things. So that includes the fact that you got false prophets out here, man. Okay, you got you got wolves in sheep's clothing. Like these guys put on fringes on their you know what I'm saying the t-shirts and whatnot. You know. You know, you know, being high and mighty, you know, but they're but they're using the glory of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai for filthy lucre's sake, you know, to be seen of men, okay, and because you know why? Because they don't push the sound doctrine, okay, you know. So it's being it's being that much more uh, uh, further made manifest in these last days who the real men of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai are, you know, and a lot of these uh, a lot of the, the the men in these camps are being exposed, man, okay, because now especially during the time of the Passover, the Pesach. You know, you have uh, you, you have that great sifting period, you see. So this is uh, Titus chapter 1, verse 11. It says, I'm going to read verse 10 again. It says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially the day of the circumcision. Okay, that's of that, that's of the the the, uh, the, um, the spiritually pure. Okay, the, the sanctuary of Yahweh by Shem and the elect, pursuing Isaiah 45 and 4. Okay, where it's the uh, circumcision, you know what I'm saying, deals with... Uh, um, you know, deals with impurity. You know, going back to the law of the circumcision to, you know, what I'm saying to 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 cast out the foreskin of, of our rods. You know, what I'm saying due to the uncleanliness. You know, what I'm saying uh, 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 symbolic of the rods. You know, what I'm saying of, our, of the foreskin of our rods, uh, uh, rather. Okay, which is why we were commanded. Our men were commanded at a certain age to to be circumcised, man. So it's twofold. You see, and you know, and that's going to the parable of the of the, of the circumcised here. Okay. You know, dealing with the nation of Israel, okay? Because uh, you know, if you, you you were you were unclean if you were not an Israelite, okay? You were not because you were not sanctified. But when you're uncircumcised in your heart, you're you you you're worse than heathen, like it says in Jeremiah five and twenty eight. And these are this is further this is further conf, you know confirmed by way of biblical prophecy. Who you know what I'm saying? Who our enemies are? It's not just these Edomites. It's not just these other nations. It, it, uh, our people are, have become worse, man. You see, they're you know. You know, so they, they 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 drink of the, they drink they drink of uh, iniquity like a water, just like, you know, what I'm saying they're 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 oppressors because they want they really want to emulate their oppressors, you know, what I'm saying, they are conformed to this world, you know, what I'm saying, as a result of, you know, why they you know why you know what I'm saying uh, you know why why they have that that mentality, you see, you know because they're being lukewarm, and like it says in the Book of Revelation, the Lord is. Casting out those who are lukewarm, man. You either with this thing full throttle by Rakakudash, or you're not. Okay. So it says, uh, Titus one eleven, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses. Okay. Like it says, uh, what's that? First or Second Corinthians five and one, how you know the the house of Yahweh by Shem Shai cannot be dissolved, man. This is because this is a house that this is this is a this this is a spiritual house. You know, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this is that, you know what I'm saying? This is that, this, this, this is the tabernacle of David. You know what I'm saying? The elect of the elect. Yahweh by Shem and Shai dealing with these last days. He's not dealing with nobody else. You see? You know, he's not even dealing with two thirds of his people right now. Okay? Because they are, they are lies of vanity. And these guys, man, a lot of these guys, all right, that claim, or in this case, that know the Israelites, they claim to be righteous. Okay? 
you know, they're really two-thirds, man. They're wolves in sheep's clothing. They put on the, the garments and all that. You know, they, they, they say kan kan. You see what I'm saying? They, 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 they bless you in the name of Yahweh Bahashim and Mashiach Yavashai. You see? You know, they say Shalom and all that, but they're, they're you know, they're, they're unclean in their heart, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm circumcised, man. Okay? Spiritually impure because they're conformed to this world. Okay? In this spiritual war, they have not, they, they, they've made up their mind who they want to serve, but they're doing, and they've, they've made up their mind deceitfully. Okay? But the, you know what I'm saying? They're not declaring who they have served. Who they, who they have decided to serve, but the, but the spirit, you know what I'm saying, of by Shemeshai, Baruch is for bringing it out on who these men are serving, these 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 caliber men, like chief, so-called chief, um, priest Alazar, okay, and men like that, you know what I'm saying, men of that caliber, you know, they're being exposed in these last days because it's, it's prevalent, you know, for that to happen, it's, it's required, you know what I'm saying, because the Lord is, a, 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 you know what I'm saying, a God of balance, okay, so you're gonna have gonna have you know true unadulterated righteous believers, and you're gonna have wicked, lukewarm, uh, uh, this, uh, 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 deceiving leaders. Okay. So this is uh, Titus 1:11, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not, for filthy lucre's sake. And what are those things they, they ought not to teach? Things that are not written. Okay. Like it reminds me of that that saying of Apostle Bar. I'm saying dealing with the, the acronym KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. Okay? Don't, 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 don't exceed your pay grade, man. Stay in your lane. We're not super prophets. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hey, like it says in Isaiah 41 to 14, man. Yeah, how about Shimon Shah compared us to worms, man? We're nothing. You see? This thing, we're nothing compared to Yahweh by Shimon Shah. Just under hey, just when you when you truly acknowledge that, okay. Your humility is that much more further magnified because otherwise, you know, a lack of fear, you know, what I'm saying, could, you know, what I'm saying, could, 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 you know, what I'm saying, could, could creep into your mind. Okay, and a lack of fear is, is how these men, you know, um, move in, in such an orderly fashion. Okay, you know, what I'm saying, like going, go, like being in a public venue, you know, what I'm saying, with the half naked women, you know, what I'm saying, all kinds of unclean spirits and, and temptations, and, and having the audacity to justify it, man. You see, you know, like it says in uh, our scripture, man, the, the scriptures, you know, what I'm saying uh, uh, dealing with, you know, dealing with the, the high holy days and the, and the highest of all of them, the Passover. It's a solemn assembly, man, a sacred assembly. OK, there's nothing sacred about being amongst unbelievers. You know, we've seen in 2 Corinthians 6 and 14, we're not supposed to be unequally yoked, you know, before our believers and don't believe in his gift. OK, that's why it says in the book of St. Matthew, um, Give, cast not, or give not what is holy to the dogs, man. These unbelievers, all right? They're compared to dogs, man, okay? So I'm going to get the next precept. All right, I'm get the next precept in the book of Titus, chapter 2, all right, verse 11. And it says, For the grace of the Most High that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, okay? Who, 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 who those men are speaking about, Okay? All right, the same men spoken about in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, man. Okay, all right, the elect men, Israelite men, nobody else. No other nation, all right, is Yahweh by Shem and Shah dealing with. Okay, all right, specifically the elect of the elect, those whose eyes were, to, were blessed to see and those whose ears were, were blessed to hear. Pursuing the St. John 10 and 27, man. Okay, all right, the one third, all right, all right, especially the 144,000, all right, the first fruits, all right. Verse 11, for the grace of the Most High that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. Okay, so like it says in Romans 6 and 1, let me get this real quick. Romans chapter 6, verse 1, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? So that that that, that, go, that further confirms what perception of grace this world has because this world is unclean. This world, you know, has been uh, blinded by the perceived light of the spiritual demon Shatan. You know, pursuing a Second Corinthians four and four, which is that sensual devilish wisdom in St. James three and fifteen. Okay, you know the ways of this world. You know what I'm saying? Politics, uh, uh, pseudoscience. You see what I'm saying? Technology. You see? All right, polit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, politics and all this madness. You see? You know? You know uh, the, the diverse philosophies and ideologies and, and different. You know what I'm saying? Perceptions. You know, the, the, those crooked paths spoken about in Isaiah 59 and 8, man. Every, every, every way that's outside of the scriptures, man. Okay, you know, the majority, the, the, the mass of the people indulge in. And then they try to, they justify because the vibration of this world is to, is to promote 
uh, uh, being justified in your wickedness. Okay, you see, and that's why you know saying in Proverbs 17, 17, 15 it says what it says because people want to justify the wickedness. They don't want to be held accountable. You know, what I'm saying for for their their wrongdoings, their transgressions. Okay, you know because they're they're you know their their hearts are not right. Their hearts are un uncircumcised. Their hearts are are impure. Okay. But yet they perpetrate the fraud that they're that they're righteous. Can you see? Because a case in point, Sakari was up in that public venue around them half naked women. You know what I'm saying? And all that, all all, all that, uh, you know, all, all them. You know what I'm saying? All that unclean, you know, you know, uh, uh, energy. You know what I'm saying? That that ungodly vibration. But yet they had the audacity. You know what I'm saying? Shortly after that, to go outside of the little public venue, and then curse out. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And women. Because they harlots and all this and this and that, but nigga, you was up in there indulging. You you, you was up in there congregating with them on the pasak, man. Or he, you know what I'm saying, or, or during the pasak, okay. You know, and that's not that's another part of that you know that justification because you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, you know, Alazar was like, okay, well, well, it was after the pasak. Well, nigga, you got on your you got on your your fringes. Your 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 men have on their fringes, man. You see. So, hey man, open rebuke is better than secret love, man. If you know, if we didn't care, you know what I'm saying? The whole full act, myself humbly speaking, you know what I'm saying? If we didn't care, then we wouldn't address these things. We just we just leave people in the abyss. We leave people in oblivion, that darkness, that gross darkness. And we wouldn't address them on the fuck ups. That's like that's similar to a parent not telling their kid where they're going off at. Cause they, you know what I'm saying? You know, letting their kid letting letting their, letting their kid err. You know, no, we're not gonna let our, our people err. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like it says in St. John 10 and 27, my people hear my voice. You know, we don't know who is of the elect. We got to repent every day ourselves, man. Pursuing the Acts 3 19. So, you know what I'm saying? We're in order by Harakah Gradash, by calling certain, you know, call, calling things out, man. Because this, this ministry is a balance. It's not all about, you know what I'm saying, uh, making people feel good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a balance. You know, sometimes you got to rebuke. You know, and, 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 and a, lot of, a lot of these men that, that claim to be righteous don't want to be rebuked, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they're double-minded. They're hypocrites. All right. Proverbs 17 and 15. He that justified the wicked and he that condemned the just, even they both are an abomination to Yahweh. So this guy, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, this, 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 this Sakari camp, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're justifying their, their, their transgressions, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, by saying, oh, well, using semantics, for example, saying, oh, well, um, well, what law is it that I don't have to uh, that, that we that that we, we we can't go to the clubs. You see, come on, man. You mean to tell me you gonna be in a okay? You gonna be in a you gonna be in a damn club, man? During the pasak, come on, man. Wearing fringes, at least have the at least have at least have the the respect to remove your garment, man. At least have the respect to remove your fringes, man. Okay. The fringes, what? Because the, the the fringes is for the some uh, 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 symbolic of what? Okay. Reverence to Yahweh by Shemesh Shah by rehearsing the righteous law, statutes, commandments, keeping the law, statutes, commandments of the holy covenant in mind. How the hell are you keeping the holy covenant in mind by being indulgent in such uncleanliness during during such a uh, sacred time, man? During such a dire time when our, our Lord and Savior Hamashiach Hamashiach was sweating blood, he was so paranoid. So sweating blood, rather, where he he was he 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 was so stressed, knowing that knowing that his his hour was come, knowing that his his dark, the the darkest of his hours were coming. Okay, that, that it was inevitable. It was prophesied. Okay, he wasn't in that jo that, that 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 jovial folly spirit, man. So why the hell are you you pushing that vibration out there? Because you're conformed to the world, man. You see. So I'm going to get the next precept. It's point blank period, man. All right. Back in Second Timothy. Uh, Salakia. All right. This is back in uh, First Titus, rather. Uh, from Titus chapter 2 verse 12 it says teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world all right so I'll start back at verse 3 for the grace of Messiah Yahweh that bringeth bring it to salvation and the preach to all men all right pursuing Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 once again and dealing with the, the men of Israel for that precepts we get understanding okay verse 12 teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust okay is it not, is it, is it, is it not a, a worldly lust to be amongst half-naked women what the hell does it have to do with with, with, 
with, with, with the, the, the righteous vibration of solemn assemblies of our high holy days, man. And having a goddamn audacity to justify that shit, man. You see, that's why he got condemned by an unbeliever in Sonnet. You know, in Ezekiel 44 9. You see, deal with the uncertainty of the circumcision. You see? You know, leaking up with Titus 1 and 10. You see? Because, like it says in scripture, man, you know, I mean, you know, uh, 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 matter of fact, let me get that real quick. If I could find it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, bury, me, bury me one moment, for sure. All right. Basically, there's a scripture where it says, uh, Blessed are, are they who are not condemned, roughly paraphrasing. Let's see if I can find it. You know? You know, so, hey, man, because in these last days, it's, it's being for the confirm with him in the Lord, man. St. John 3 and 18, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten Son, the Most High. All right, so you, you can get condemned by unbelievers if you if you if you're leaning on your own understanding. Okay, there's another precept I was looking for, but I'm not, uh, and I'm saying I'm not going to tend to it right now. But I, that's 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 a that's a Yapar precept on that subject as well, especially because Mashiach Harashai himself had mentioned it. So this is a uh, Titus chapter two, verse thirteen, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great Yahweh. And our Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Okay, so by by us staying in order, like it says in the book of First Corinthians, the fourteen chapter. All right, by way of the order of the scriptures, man. All right, being you know uh, uh, meditating on the 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 the, the, the righteous uh, uh, instructions of obtaining our salvation by what is written. You know what I'm saying? We we further meditate. You know what I'm saying? We 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 further meditate on that blessed hope. And that glorious appearing of the great power. You know what I'm saying? Abba Yahweh. All right. Manifested through his only begotten son. Our Lord and Savior. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Who's coming to redeem us from these sins, man. Coming to redeem us from our uncleanliness. And that goes into the significance of his death. So if you're not, like it says in St. John 7 and 38. Okay. If you're not, if, if, if you're not following the ways of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. As it's written in the scriptures, man. That's like you, that's like you, uh. You know, dishonoring the sacrifice, the noble and righteous sacrifice of Hamashiach Shai and requesting that he dies on the on the he 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 dies afresh for your sins, pursuing the Hebrews six and six. You see, Titus two and fourteen, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. Okay, read that again. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity. Okay, all in cleanliness, all in purity, man. Okay, and purify unto himself a peculiar people. Yasha Allah, pursuing Deuteronomy 7 6. Zealous of good works. How is it a good work to be amongst unbelievers, man, on a sacred, <laughs> on a sacred high holy day? And then have the audacity to justify, man. You see, Titus 2 and 15. These things speak and exhort and rebuke with all authority. With all authority. Let no man despise thee. They shake off the dust of your feet, like it says in scriptures, man. If they don't receive you, shake off the dust of your feet, man. Okay? Don't, 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 uh, don't be, don't, don't, uh, uh, you know, be a pleaser of men. Okay? All right? We don't give a damn about who, 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 who hates us and despises us. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 you know what I'm saying? That, that disagrees with this word. You see? How I said he would set a variance amongst us, you know what I'm saying, between our families and whatnot. You see, we would be more, uh, that's a part of the temptations. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A, a, a conformance to this world that much more by validating people for appeasement of their flesh, for their, for, you know what I'm saying, for their acceptance of you. To hell with all that, man. Okay? The things that we're suffering now, okay, of this temptation is, is, is not even, you know what I'm saying, it's, 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 it's worthy completely of the righteous glory we're going to receive and that's the nation that, and that's the uh, kingdom so I'm going to get Ezekiel chapter 44 to <laughs> deal with that scripture that even hey, Sonetta cut him cut him with Ezekiel chapter 44 why? because he's he's playing with the word man this is what happens man when you play with when you play with holy fire what does it say in Daniel the 7th chapter Daniel 7 and 9 okay the heavenly father's throne has fire around it man that's the kind of fire you're playing with when you're being when you're being lukewarm with the word Push it out there like it's supposed to be pushed out there, sparing none, man. Pursuing Isaiah 58 and 1. 
Otherwise, you'd be, you'd be further proven as a reprobate and a deceiver, a devil. Ezekiel 44 and 6. Because really, man, these niggas are in the A, man. They're the, they're, the, they're the real problem, man. We know where we stand with Esau. We know where we stand with these other heathen nations, man. But it's our, it's, it's, you know, it's our own people. That's the main problem right now, man. And it's all prophesied. But you got to call a spade a spade. All right? Ezekiel 44 and 6. And thou shalt say to the rebellious, even to the house of Yasha'Allah, thus said the Lord Yahweh, O ye house of Yasha'Allah, let it suffice you of all your abominations. Got a lot of people who are rebellious, man. Stiff neck. Okay? To no good. Like it says in Jeremiah 14, what, what's that? Jeremiah 4 and 22, rather. Where it says what? Our people are wise to do evil, but to do good, we have no knowledge. All right? Pursuing Isaiah 61 to 4, you know what I'm saying? It says that we've been indoctrinated under the confinement of this wicked world for so long, man. But that don't justify justifying wickedness. All right? Because you, you can't say that you, you haven't been given the blueprint of righteousness. Okay? And we have, we have spiritual, we have, we, we have, uh, we have uh, 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 you know, our teachers down here, man. Okay? Spiritual fathers down here all right the priest that we should reverence for soon as Sirach 79 that's why you see see and and, and and that's 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 a further uh, uh um you know example of rebellion because you know um chief priest alazar was under a great millstone man all right and that's just that just so happens to be the men who push the sound doctrine and every and every and every man who pushes that sound doctrine the same doctrine which is a sound doctrine all right is of the hopeful elect. It's just that it's just it's just that simple, man. By pushing the sound doctrine, what is written, that true, unadulterated, pure, uh, a word of faith. Okay. Otherwise, you're rebelling. You're being rebellious, and rebellion is a sin of witchcraft, man. We've seen the first Sam, uh, uh, first Samuel, fifteen and twenty-three, and that that's where, that further confirms you to be a friend of the world. Okay, pursuing St. James 4 and 4. Okay, being entangled within the affairs of his life, being an enemy to Yahweh by Shem and Meshach El Shai. Ezekiel 44, 7. And that ye have brought into my sanctuary strangers, uncircumcised in heart and uncircumcised in flesh, to be in my sanctuary to pollute it, even my house. Okay. So not so those those people in that public venue, not uncircumcised, but were they not strangers? Half-naked women, you know what I'm saying? Who knows who's up in there? And that kind of, in that kind of setting, well, kind of that demonic rap music and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? That's not a, that's not of a, that's that, that's not of a, uh, is that not of an ungodly temptation? Are, are those not of un ungodly temptations? Is is, is 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 that is that wise to indulge in during a, a sacred, solemn assembly? All right, all right, to further commemorate. The, the noble and, and righteous sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Havashai, who did not have the kind of spirit that those men had when they were in that public venue, man. He was like, a, well, once again, he was sweating blood. He was so, a hey, he knew what was going to happen, man. Okay? Ezekiel 44, verse 7. And that ye have brought into my sanctuary strangers, uncircumcised in heart and uncircumcised in flesh, to be in my sanctuary, to pollute it, even my house. When ye offer my bread, the fat and the blood, and they have broken my covenant because of all your abominations. Okay, we don't offer our bread to the to the strangers, man. You see, we don't we don't we don't allow degenerates to come into our uh, to come into our dwelling to partake into something holy, man. Okay, we have to be very mindful of that, man. This truth is not a joke, man. You can't just be you can't just you you you, you can't just be so will you so willing, you know what I'm saying, to invite all kind of lovers into your dwelling, into your mind, really, your lob, your heart. Which is your lie, man. Your, 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 you know what I'm saying? Your thoughts, your mind. Okay? You have to be very picky in layman's terms, man. You see? Otherwise, you'd you, 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 you be vulnerable to temptation. And that's what happened to uh, that's what happened to them that night. They got exposed because of that, man. Because they, they, were, they were being inorderly. They were being rebellious. Not sticking to what it... Not, not, not uh, 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 you know, not, uh, you know what I'm saying... Accepting what is written and applying it to their lives, man. Pursuing the First Corinthians nine and fourteen, okay, in totality, especially during this time, man. You see. So this is a. Uh, this is verse seven or verse eight, and ye have not kept the charge of mine holy things, but like it says in Ezekiel, I believe it's the 18th chapter, 
It says, and ye have not kept the charge of mine holy things, but ye have set keepers of my charge and my sanctuary for yourselves. Yeah, you holding back your count. You, you hiding your money from the Lord. Like it says in the book of uh, St. Matthew, I believe it is. Okay. Verse 9, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, no stranger, uncircumcised in heart, nor uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter into my sanctuary any of it's like you, of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. Okay. Hey man. It's coming out, man. It's coming out who's a real man of the Lord. So like you. you see, it's becoming that much more evident. The book of Titus. Chapter 1, verse 11. All right, go back to that scripture. All right, it says, Whose mouths must be stopped. Let me start at verse 10 again. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. So you out there in the highways and byways, you know what I'm saying? You edifying, it's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know what I'm saying? You helping, you know, wake up the children of Israel. Okay? You know, you helping, uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? Um... You know, a uh, 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 battle of these strongholds and stumbling blocks. But then, how can you truly do that when you're indulging, you're, when you're when you're afraid of contributing into into these strongholds and stumbling blocks, man? Okay, by way by way of your your own vain thinking. Okay, by way of your own private interpretation. All right, of the scriptures, man. All right. You yourself can be a stumbling block, and that's what Jake don't even want to consider. They don't want to accept rebuke. I've, I've been rebuked before. It don't feel good, but I took it like a man. What well, does it say in Isaiah 46? I believe it's for Isaiah 46 and 8. Prove yourself to be men. All right? A lot of these guys, they look like men. They got beards. They, 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 look, they, 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 they act mighty. They really, man, they ain't lions. They, 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 they cats, man. They're little kitty cats, man. All right? The Lord, the Lord dealing with that spirit, man. All right? Titus 1 and 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Talk a good game, but are you really about it? You double-minded, man. Verse 11, whose mouths must be stopped. Whose mouths must be stopped. Pushing uh, 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 false doctrine, damnable heresies, fallacies, okay? Private interpretation of the scriptures, man. For the deceiving the flock. What do you, how should I say? If you love me, feed my flock, man. How the hell are you doing that if you're not doing it accordingly? If you're not doing it according to the word in its entirety, man. Pursuing of Titus 1 and 9, man. St. John 7 and 38, man. All right? Hebrews 10 and 7. It says, it says in Hebrews 10 and 7, Yahweh by Shem and Shai comes within the volume of the book, man. Titus 1 11, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought, which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. You want to be seen of men. Okay, you want you want vainglory. Let's get that. Let's end it off here. St. Matthew 23, verse 6. It reads, And love the uh, uh, verse 5, but all their works they do for it to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge their borders of their garments. They be out there, you know what I'm saying? They be having a, they be having exactly what described here. You know what I'm saying? Saying con con shalom and all that. You know, you you, you teaching a flock, but are you really are you really abiding what you, what you teach? Are, are, are you really about what you preach? Are you practicing what you preach, man? Because else you a hypocrite, man. All right. Verse six and love the uppermost rooms at feasts. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues. You see, they want to they 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 want to be in a they want to be in a, a prestigious position. They want to be seen of men. They want that glory. They're power hungry. That's why they a lot of these guys with these these prestige these uh these uh, prestigious titles. You know what I'm saying? A like chief priest, Alazar, and all this all all this. You know what I'm saying? It's really to really magnify themselves in their heart, man. You see. They 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 wanna they want the glory of Yahweh by Shemai Shai. They using the glory. They want they want to use the glory of Yahweh by Shemai Shai on the left hand side to be glorified of men, to be worshipped. That's a that's an idolatrous spirit, man. It's like the the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees. There's nothing new under the sun, man. Okay. Titus uh, Slakia, Saint Matthew twenty three and six. Like the, the <laughs> like the elder Hawaii from North Carolina. I mean, I mean, like like the, the elder uh, Hawaii from North Carolina I'd like to say, man. I like uh, I'm 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 hype right about now. I'm, I'm hype right about now. <laughs> you know, St. Matthew 23 and 6. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues. Okay. And they were in a chief position in, in, that, in that public venue around them half naked women and whatnot, man. Around that around that worldly environment. Okay. Trying to perpetrate perpetrating a fraud that you know what I'm saying that that's righteous. 
Okay? And, he, and, and oh, you see, you know, this is what happens when you play with the word of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai. You can get confounded by an unbeliever like Sadnetta. Cut the hell out of uh, uh, Chief Priest Alazar, a.k.a. Guerrilla Hebrew. Pursuing Ezekiel 44 9. He could, and he, he, bought, he, he, he botched that scripture up. Okay? Because he tried to privately interpret it to try to justify his wickedness, man. All right? And that's, and, hey, man. And that's, and, and, hey. It, 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 and it showed. Okay, it showed what kind of character he has, and, and, and yeah, yeah, give this dude credit, Sarnetta, he's an unbeliever, yeah, but he said, he said it, he said, hey, the Lord, the Lord was speaking through him, when he, when he said, hey, the Lord is going to test the character of this guy, uh, chief, uh, uh, guerrilla Hebrew, what kind of character, are you going to, are you going to admit that you were wrong, or are you not, you see, because in these last days, it's going to be further made evident regardless, okay, so make the wise decision and be right, you know, and 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 and, and be spiritual minded. Don't be carnal minded, because carnal uh, a carnal mind is enmity to your how by Shemesh Shai. See Matthew twenty three and twenty seven. And greetings in the, in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. Okay, they want to be called master. You see, they want to be they want to be exalted. Okay, like 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 cheat like 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 priest Caliphaz and Tommy Howard Shai. You know that that pompous, rebellious, unfaithful spirit. Okay, verse eight. But be, but be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Hamashiach, and all ye are brethren. Okay, we have one, we have one master. How about Shem Yashar, man? Okay, when you got men, I, we got you got Israelite men out here, acting like it, acting and not acting like that. You know, that could be a stumbling block to to, to brothers and sisters, man. All right, hey, but the, but it does say say Matthew twenty four, um, the elect. But you can't fool the elect. I'm gonna play this little last clip here, man. I'm gonna end it off, man. Lord willing, this was for the edifying exhorting to the elect. I'm gonna come across this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh let me see. I'm gonna start it right here. Hey brother Garfield, you're calling back. I wanna say to you that the questions I asked was important because remember, Daniela said that they're gonna to talk tomorrow. Or well, what is the reason to talk to him if he feels he's justified? Exactly. Remember Daniela said, what did Daniela say? Daniela said that he you want to see what he's gonna come with. He's already saying what he's gonna come with, Sonetta. Mm -hmm. He he feels he didn't do nothing wrong. So now that he feels he didn't do nothing wrong, Gorilla Hebrew is now separating himself from the entire Israelite community now. He says, I'm going to do the F what I want to do. That's why I talk to him and ask him those specific questions. So now, Sarnetta, for him to get violent with you, that's a whole other scenario. Yeah. He didn't get violent on the phone. Look at, at this the nigga beginning. acting all crazy, knowing if that was us. Hey, he said it, you know. Hey, man. In these last days, man. Hey, the Lord, there's a great sifting going on right now. There's a great sifting going on right now, man. Let's end it off there. During the Passover, there's already there's always a great shifting, man. All right, Saint Luke twenty two and thirty one, and the Lord Yahweh by Shem says, Simon, Simon, behold, Shatan had deserved Slakia. Shatan had. Let me read it from the top. And the Lord Yahweh by Shem said, Simon, Simon, behold, Shatan had desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. Look at this word sift. Okay, that's what happened to these guys in these last days, especially when the time of the Passover. It always happens, man. Uh, hey, and, and, and that's why a lot of that goes into why also a lot of judgment happens around the time of the Passover, man. All right, a lot of chariot sightings. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's, it, it, this is a very spiritual time to be in, man. So if you're not in the right mind frame, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're, you're, um, you know, you're condemned already in your own heart by not uh, partaking to the true light, pursuing the St. John, the third chapter. All right? And also dealing with the, uh, this word sift. All right. All right. To sift. All right. To overthrow. To shake. To avoid. To get rid of. Okay. That's what's happening these last days. All right. These, these men that know the Israelites claim to be righteous are being sifted. Okay. St. Luke 22 and 32. But I have prayed for thee. That thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. What does it say in St. James 5 and 20, man? Okay? We're being used as righteous vessels by Yahweh by Shemeshire to convert. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, matter of fact, I ended off there. St. James 5 and 20. All right? It says, Let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death 
and shall hide a multitude of sins. But how are you qualified to do that? By examining your own self first. Okay. And continue to do so because, hey, we're in this flesh. All right. There's heavy temptation out here. But when you don't acknowledge your sins, when you don't acknowledge your transgressions, you're a goddamn hypocrite, man. Okay. And what? And once again, all right, the hypocrisy is a rebellion. Okay. And rebellion is a sin of witchcraft, man. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end it off there. You know what I'm saying? I believe the point has been made. You know, I don't want to be long winded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But call on me how by Shimma Mashak Awashai, by Rachakwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this video. And Adam Ratazad, this is Fred Edifying and, and exhorting to the, uh, you know what I'm saying, to the um, Akim Akwath. You know what I'm saying? Shabayasha Dabada, Walla Bachayim, that may come across this video. And with that, a Bob the Ball. All right. DTA, man. You almost out this bitch, man. Shalom to the elect. On to the next one.